Hi everyone, this is Ricky with Bromero Cards. I hope you're having a good day during these times of hardships. Um, I thought I would make a video for you guys, maybe to release some stress and just for you to enjoy things. Um, today I'm going to be using some Birch Press Designs layering stamps and this little stamp called Flutter Mini by the Ton. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to build this layering stamp. It's beautiful. Um, I'm going to cut these out in uh, different colored cardstocks. There's the C plate, the B plate, and the A plate. Uh, this is the C plate, and I'm going to um, go ahead and get this cut out with some orange uh, paper. And then I'm going to take it out of the die machine. And then here you have to use your little pokey tool to go ahead and get everything out of that, uh, which is fine. I have a little brush around here somewhere I could use. But oh, and this is like the universal language of getting things out of your dies, just slamming it on the table. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do um, the letter A uh, plate. And I've already done B because I had done a card earlier so that I could like practice. So um, again, you're going to use your little pokey tool thing or your brush or whatever you have here to go ahead and get all those little pieces out. And then what we're going to just start doing is we're going to go ahead and start piecing this together. Now my idea here was to make it the colors of the monarch butterfly, which is beautiful. Um, I love them. I think they're amazing creatures. And um, actually, um, this past summer, there was a huge um, flock, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, of uh, monarch butterflies here in Chicago. And a storm came and actually knocked them all into the sand of the lake here in Chicago. So a bunch of us went out, volunteers went out and tried to rescue as many as we could. Um, we all had some flowers, uh, bouquets of flowers, to try to get the the butterflies to come onto it so they could dry off and then fly away. We got to rescue some. You know, unfortunately, a lot of them did not make it. But, you know, as humans, we try to do what we can to help our fellow beings on this earth. Anyway, we have this... Uh, we have this layered die set for this heart all together, and now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and use an embossing uh, folder here so that we could go ahead and get some impression on this paper. I have been in love with embossing powder, or I'm sorry, embossing folders the past couple cards I've made. I, they're magical, and I just love just the simple impression that it gives, and it gives enough just to give your eye detail to make you want to look at the card. So I'm just going to trim this down to, I believe I trimmed this down to four by five and a quarter. What I like to do here is just to take off each side to make sure it's balanced and that there's no unevenness to this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a mat for uh, this white uh, impressed paper. And then I'm just going to be gluing this on top of that. And you'll see me here in a moment after I get it all situated. You know, I want to make sure everything's right and all that great stuff. I wanted the raised side, not the indented side. I don't know what you call that. I think that's what you say, but correct me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this evened out. There's my big old ball head right there just for you. Enjoy it. <laughs> so we go ahead and we're going to stick this onto a card base that is cut at 11 by uh, four and a quarter. And then we're just going to fold that in half to make it four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to go ahead and get that on there. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this stamped out. And what I decided to do with this card is to actually just make the butterfly black and white because the colors of the monarch are in the heart. So, you know, I didn't want to take away um, from the main center point and you know, the monarch is basically what the card is about. So I wanted to make sure that when you looked at the card, you could actually see the monarch and not it, it doesn't get confused with all the other colors in the heart. Um, I'm not going to add any other color to this, and then I'm just going to take a white gel pen and give it, give it its markings on its wings. This is super easy. Um, you know, it's just a white gel pen. You could you pretty much use any of these. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out and the poor little guy loses his um, antennas because I don't have the patience to cut around those tiny, tiny antennas. So we're just going to cut this out and he's just going to not have antennas. That's okay. You know, uh, the card still looks really good. 
Then I'm going to take a black Tombow marker and all I'm going to do is just trace around the edges of the butterfly to give it um, a black line around it. You don't want to have, or I don't like it when the white sides of the paper is showing. So I like to make it look a little more complete and go ahead and add those sides to it. So now we're getting the card together. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the sentiment on uh, the card. And I'm just going to cut this out of some black cardstock. I'm going to get it ready to be heat embossed. That's my powder tool to make sure the static's off the card. I'm going to use some Versamark ink so that I can go ahead and get this stamped onto the cardstock. There's my big old fat head again. And then I'm just going to use some white heat embossing powder here to go ahead and get this uh, stamped out. This is a fine embossing powder. It's Brutus Monroe's and it works really good and I've had this container forever. I can't believe I haven't spilled it on the floor yet because that happens. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this heat embossed. Um, I don't think I show you the whole thing. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I always think this is so magical. It's like great. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this cut out. I'm gonna make a thin strip. Um, you know, I don't, really don't have measurements for this. I'm just gonna make it, eyeball it, and make it look skinny and you know, make it look pretty. So. Um, then basically I'm just going to chop off the end here to make it into a thin strip and then we're, that's what we'll be using to put onto the card. And then finally here we're going to start putting this together. Um, that is the heart. We're going to glue the butterfly onto the heart first. And you could put some 3M foam tape behind this if you wanted to maybe prop up the wing. But um, what I decided to do is go ahead and just glue this directly down onto the card. Um, I didn't really want to cut out all that 3M foam tape to get that, all of that behind here and then put it on the card. That's just a lot. I'm trying to make a simple card. So uh, cutting out all those thin strips of uh, 3M foam tape, not simple for me. Um, all right, we're just going to use some glue here and go ahead and get this glued down. I do believe I get it centered. Sometimes I'm not very good at that. You know, I just kind of wing it. <laughs> wing it, get it? <laughs> Anyway, this is the card, and we're going to go ahead and get the sentiment stamped on, or I'm sorry, placed onto the card. And I am going to use some 3M foam tape for this because I needed a little dimension onto the card. Uh, this is a super skinny piece. It was easy to cut out. And I'm just going to place it in the middle of the card. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys are having a good week. Um, try to be peaceful. Try to think, um, you know, just try to... Uh, you know, just be a good person and put good things out in the world. Have a great day. Bye.